up nerds oh, welcome back to my channel guys <laughs> i honestly did not know what we were gonna film today but we're gonna do like a mosh posh i was gonna call it like one of those um bookish videos but i really wanted to do two different videos so combine two different videos that's what we're doing i don't know what i'm calling it whatever we are obviously of course doing a book haul we'll talk about it <laughs> and then i wanted to look at the goodreads choice um the 16th annual <laughs> goodreads choice awards and so i wanted to kind of talk with them with over them talk over them with you talk yeah whatever <laughs> talk with them with you um and just give you my opinions my thoughts um so i thought it'd be fun to just combine the two because who really cares so first if you guys like book hauls if you guys like the Goodreads Choice Awards, <laughs> if you guys like this Mosh Posh of videos, if you guys like all the nerdy things, then definitely give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button without further ado. Let's just get started. I feel like we're gonna do the haul at the end because that'll be your reward for watching this whole video. Let's go to the Goodreads, <laughs> the Goodreads Choice. Actually, let's go on the app and see if it'll pull it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna screen record. We can vote in the opening round. Let's see. Okay, so we have fiction. I don't read a lot of just like fiction books. So unfortunately, I don't think I've read any. Yeah, I have not read any of these. I don't know. How do you guys feel? Should I just pick a random one or should I just skip it? We'll skip it for now. <laughs> just because, I don't know, I don't read them. Readers' favorite historical fiction, obvious, also don't read historical fiction. I feel like sometimes um, it's hard because I'm like, I've seen certain books a lot. Um, and so I'm like, those are obviously like the ones I would pick because I've seen them at least most, even if I haven't read them. Now we have mysteries and thrillers. I have not read, um, I don't read mystery and thrillers. I was like, there could be some. That could count, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Readers' favorite romance. <laughs> Wild Love. I just read Wild Love. Loved it. Oh my gosh, I also loved The Paradise Problem. Leather and Lark was not my favorite. Not in Love. I didn't love... I didn't like Not in Love more than I liked The Paradise Problem or Wild Love. King of Sloth was good. I didn't read How to End a Love Story. Oh my gosh, Play Along. funny story oh no oh no I need to just put my thing on do not disturb so sorry <sighs> bride was not my favorite daydream it sucks I really want to love daydream but I didn't love that um just for the summer was not my favorite the way everyone else loved it the rom-comers oh no how am I gonna choose okay the Rom-Commers, Funny Story, Play Along, and Wild Love. Wild Love is fresh. Technically, I just gave that a 4.5 star. So technically, that is a lower rating than Play Along, Funny Story, and The Rom-Commers because I gave those three five stars. So Not In Love is out. Love The Rom-Commers. The thing is that like, I want to pick The Rom-Commers because I love Catherine Center. But like because of the book wise, it has to be between Play Along and Funny Story. I loved Play Along so much. I'm gonna go Play Along because that one really got me in my feels. Like I literally, I literally cried. That's how much I love that book. Okay. Wow, yeah, I've read a lot of these. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, let's see. Reader's favorite romanticy. Mm. Haven't read. I read A Faint Ink to Blood. It wasn't that good, in my opinion. Like, I, I'm surprised to see it up here. A Crown This Cold and Heavy. I don't think I read. Is that the one I didn't? I did read this one. Feybound. Oh my gosh, Blood of Hercules. Easy. I don't care what else is on here. Blood of Hercules. If you have not read this book, I don't know what you're doing. It is so freaking good. Okay, Blood of Hercules. Quicksilver. No. What are they doing to me? 
Oh my gosh. Okay. The Veiled Kingdom now. When the Moon Hatched. Phantasma, whatever, whatever. Quicksilver. I liked the Blood of Hercules better. I just think that I know that I Quicksilver will win. <laughs> but we gotta go Blood of Hercules. I love that book so much. Like, literally so much. It's become a piece of me. Okay, reader's favorite fantasy. So just fantasy. I don't know if I've read... Yeah. Oh, I've read Five Broken, Broken Blades and I loved that. We love a good easy answer. Because <laughs> I've never read any of the other ones. And Five Broken Blades, I'm so excited for the next one. It's coming, it should be coming out... Actually, I think it comes out in the new year. But love that book so much. Okay, let's see. Reader's favorite sci-fi. I don't think there are very many. I'm going to have very many more. Um, I think there are some YA categories that I might have. Yeah, horror, absolutely not. Favorite debut novel. Let's see if I've read, it, read it, any of these. How to End the Love Story. Haven't read yet. Wow, none of those. Reader's favorite audiobook. Ooh. Okay, now we can vote for funny story. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was hard. Yeah, we're going funny story. I think I did listen to funny story as an audiobook because I remember listening to it while I was walking. Funny story. My favorite audiobooks, though, are definitely by um, the one who does the Sarah J. Mass, uh, the Throne of Glass series. So good. Okay, reader's favorite young adult fantasy. Let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, where the secret hi where the library hides is new. Why would they put that one and not the first one? Ruthless Vows was not good. Heartless Hunter was so good. I did not like Reckless the way everyone else did. Wisteria, why would they put the third one? That one just came out. We gotta go Heartless Hunter, maybe. We gotta go Heartless Hunter. Wow, the heck? Reckless, yeah, that's so not. Okay, favorite young adult fiction. Let's see what we got here. I'm betting on you, nothing like the movies that also just came out. The Grandest Games. I did really love that book. That's the only one I've read from here, so we're going to go with The Grandest Games. <laughs> I do want to read Nothing Like the Movies, but I've heard people say that, like, if you didn't love, like, if you weren't, like, obsessed with the better than the movies, you might not like this book. So I'm like, I don't know. Okay, nonfiction. Probably don't have any up here. Yeah, no. Memoir. Probably not either. I think that's going to be all of them, probably. Story, history, and biography. Oh. I didn't click on it, sorry. <laughs> okay, that looks like all of them. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my gosh. I honestly, yeah, that really is... Those romance ones are going to get me. They always do, though. <laughs> but then I always feel like the winner... I don't want to say that. That sounds horrible. But I feel like the winner is, like, never my favorite. It's fine. I do think um, ha Happy Place won the one year, I think. That's, like, not my favorite. But Funny Story was incredible. So I wouldn't be mad if Funny Story won. But I also think Liz Tom, Liz Tom Ford needs the W. Like, I really want her to have that W. And then um, Quicksilver was incredible. It was so good. But something about The Blood of Hercules was... Oh my gosh, it's incredible. Like, I want to reread it, and I just read it, and I've been talking about it nonstop for months. And I kind of read it, like, basically around the same time as Quicksilver. So, definitely, like, whatever. Um, I'm trying to look back at what I picked. Um, the fantasy ones were easy, because the only one I've read was Five Broken Blades, but honestly, that book is so good, so it's fine. We got to choose Funny Story for the audiobook, which is super fun and fresh. <laughs> um... Yeah, I love that book so much, so I'm glad I got to choose it for something. Um, I've also heard, like, the... I kind of want to read Light, Lights Out. I don't know why I always want to call it Lights Out. It's called... It is called Lights Out. Wow. <laughs> um, I want to read that because I heard the audiobook's good. And I actually got that book 
from Book Funnel a long time ago, and I never read it. I started it, and I enjoyed it, but then I just never continued. So now I kind of want to listen to it, but I don't know if I'll be scared. <laughs> um, Young Adult Fantasy, we got Heartless Hunter. That wasn't hard. It wasn't a hard decision. And then we got The Grandest Games from Young Adult Fiction. Okay, awesome. We did good. I'm, I'm excited about this. These are a lot of good books that I really love, so perfect. All right, that wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> um, I, let me know what books you guys chose down below because that'll obviously be super fun and fresh to talk about it and like your favorites. Um, some of these I know probably like won't win, but like they're my personal favorites, obviously. And so I'm glad that they are options, you know? Like I'm glad that they're up there and they're getting the hype that they deserve. And so mm, love that for us. Okay, let's jump into the haul. Not so bad, we made it through. Um, I wanted to talk about this book because I did get it on release day. So I did get it a little bit ago, but um, I wanted to tell you because this is Hex by Emily McIntyre. I got it and I needed it. Honestly, I didn't, when I went to Target today, I didn't even see this book there. So it's probably sold out, but I wanted it so bad. And I like literally want to read this so bad. So I'm trying my hardest to finish my TBR so that I can read or at least some of my TBR enough of my TBR so that I can read this book I want to read it literally so bad like so bad it's not even funny so I'm so excited about that this is the little mermaid like retelling um her series I feel like like I liked one here's the thing <laughs> two of them I like loved I really loved um scarred and crossed wretched and twisted I liked like they were fine and then hooked I didn't love um but so I'm like I'm like this is not a favorite series by any means but by any means but it is a good series if you like like darker romance so this one's a chunker and it kind of bothers me so I have them all in this section because I love the like the black all together and I don't have a lot of black covers this one's like kind of like too much purple <laughs> Like you're ruining my vibe <laughs> and it's massive. It's like two of those books combined. So I'm like, okay, okay, I don't know where to put you, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. We got that one. I don't think they're all gonna fit up here, but that's fine. <sighs> then I went a little crazy. I was like trying to sorry, hold on. I went a little crazy. I was trying to like be like Marissa, no, like don't do it, like you don't have to do this. But I was like, I really want to read this book. There's one book that I, okay, <laughs> one book I really wanted to read, but if I bought this book, I had to buy the book, the other book that comes first. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about just doing like a whole Sarah Adams reading vlog because I want to read this book so freaking bad. It's called The Temporary, T Temporary Roommate. First of all, he's a doctor. I love that. It's not in enough books. I need more doctor books, please and thank you. But she's also obviously pregnant. But it's not his baby. It's not his baby. And so I'm interested to see what is going to happen, what's going on. And I don't know. I just feel like it could be so freaking good. And so I just, I want to read this so bad. So if I wanted to read this, I had to get the off limits rule, which comes first, I believe in this interconnected little world here. I believe they're interconnected. I'm not seeing it right now. So <laughs> hold on. I don't know. I'll have to look it up if I have to read them in order, but they released like this. So they released, she released, actually I have right here. She released the match, then the enemy. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, I need both of those. I haven't read them yet. And then she released the off limits rule and then the temporary roommate. These are all revised and expanded editions. Um, so she did have these out a little bit ago. These are like, um, her backlist technically that she's just redoing, which I'm, so, I'm here for it. So I had to get both of those. I think they're so pretty. And so, uh, she's probably the author I have the most books from. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, probably. So, I'm really excited about this. I know I didn't need it, but I want to read this book so bad. So bad. So I'm like, oh, now I just have to do like a Sarah Adams reading vlog. <laughs> Put them all together. They're short and they're sweet and they're closed door. And so they're refreshing. They're like a breath of fresh air. And then you could just enjoy the romance. You don't have to think about all the other extra. And so it's just perfect. And so I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. <laughs> Hopefully they're good because now I hype them up a lot in my head. This book is probably the complete opposite of all all things I just said. <laughs> we ended up getting Monarch by Sophie Lark. I know, I know. <laughs> I just, I was looking, actually looking for the Kingmakers Year 2 because that released, just released, and it wasn't there. So I was like, jerks. <laughs> um, but I just like, you know... I just need to read a Sophie Lark book. And I wanted this one too while the sprayed edges will still were still sprayed because the one I have has the sprayed edges. Where did I put that book? 
oh duh in my Sophie Lark section because now I have so many books from her <laughs> um, so I wanted them to have, be together one big happy family so love that needed that and so I was torn about this book but it has some things that I'm like could be so good Ugh, but also could be horrible so these are a little bit spooky a little bit scary very dark and so I would read the they have content warnings um, before going into this but like it was calling my name it was calling my name it was calling my name <laughs> <sighs> okay the rest of these are like big for no reason I some okay well some of them have a reason but the other one I'm like girl okay also Target was doing buy one get buy two get one so that's why I was like gotta go now um I was gonna buy this book and so I was like I just I feel like I should just do it now do it now while I can I feel like like certain books like these um, that are like more Kindle limited series and stuff like that, it is nice to at least have one book from the series, even if I'm not going to buy the entire series. So I was like, I'll just buy this one, see how it goes. This is Pen Cole, Spark of the Everflame. Everyone and their mom is reading this right now. So I'm like, I feel like I need to jump on this bandwagon. Um, it says, you think I fear my own death? He whispered in my ear. Every day I draw breath is as much a curse as a gift. What the? <laughs> if you're the way my fate finally catches up to me, I can't fathom a more beautiful end. What is happening? Okay, I need to read this. This is so gorgeous. So I need to read this like ASAP. So excited about that. I think the series is complete, if I'm not mistaken, which would be nice. If not mostly done, I don't know. Um, it doesn't look super long, which I appreciate as well. So I'm excited about this. I got that. Obviously, it's a hardcover, so that's why it's super big. Same with this one. This is a big hardcover. Massive. But I did get Games Untold. So this is the, like, craziness. I'm like, what the heck did I just buy? Um, so there are, like, a million... She likes to do a, a bajillion different um, um, versions. So there's, like, pink cover bubble. This one is only at Target. Bonus exclusive content. 17 pages behind the scenes with the offer. author. I didn't necessarily need that particularly, but it's fine. But I loved the first um, books in this series. So this is the final book, fifth and final book in the Inheritance Games collection, it's called. And so I'm excited about it. You know, I'm going to read it and I'm hopefully going to love it. I, I love these characters. I do. And so I'm excited to kind of see where they kind of wrap up. I know that this is basically a series of, of a series of, um, novellas so I'm interested to see how she does that because that's not always my favorite but okay the sticker doesn't want to come off it's not always my favorite but we'll see <laughs> wow perfect fit one more and this is a monstrosity oh my gosh oh my gosh can you guess what book this is do you know do you know <laughs> I got the striker by Anna Huang I couldn't not first of all I haven't read an Anna Huang book in a long time actually since I've read King of um what was it called King of Sloth and that I feel like was over the summer I don't know that was a long time ago it feels like years ago um but so I just want to like kind of you know I don't know <laughs> continue on with her 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 what she's coming out with and stuff because I do really enjoy her love her writing her stuff um a lot of her stuff I do like she my number one favorite author no but do I enjoy it yes this one was calling to me though because he plays soccer and I have not read any I don't think I've read any soccer romances actually I read Colty and that was I did not like that so anyway I haven't read very many soccer romances and I love soccer so much I love it so much and then she's a dancer and so I'm like oh, wait <laughs> wait 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 <sighs> I'm just so excited this is a big book though but I'm so excited to read this and I someone's gonna have to stop me from reading this like right now because I really want to read this so I got that one. Oh no we gotta make it look ugly so sorry <laughs> there we go so those are all the books um I picked up at Target. It's not very many, but honestly, I just wanted to, again, throw this in a video because um, I wanted to do both of those things and I thought it would be super fun and fresh. Um, yes, that is it. Let me know what books you're picking up, what books you're reading, what videos you want to see. I have a reading vlog. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to plan or do or not. I'm debating on it, but I need to get some of these books off my monthly TBR. My November, I said this before, my November, my November is crazy, especially these first like couple weeks. So 
um hopefully at the end i can kind of pull it all together <laughs> put out good stuff and we all have a grand grand old time so um yes let me know though if any of these books you're like marissa i really want to see that in a reading vlog Psh, i got you just let me know let me know <laughs> all right i'll see you in the next one bye nerds